Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of relationships, specifically how we can show those relationships on input output tables, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So sometimes you're going to see two different columns of numbers here. In this case, we have students that are giving a certain amount of money in cents at a store because they're wanting to buy one particular item. And as each student pays, they receive a certain amount in change. That's the money that they get back. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out how much is this piece of candy. So that's what they're buying. How much is the candy that each of these students is buying? And all we know is the amount of money that they paid and the amount of change they received. Now, if you look uh, from top to bottom, you see our numbers change from 80, they go up to 90, but then they go down to 75 and then down to 30. There's really no pattern there. So we're not going to be able to try to look up and down to try to find a pattern. What we need to do is we need to look side to side. We need to look between the two different columns of numbers, the amount given and the change. So the first student gave 80 cents and there was a certain amount of money kept by the store. That's the cost of the piece of candy. And they received 55 cents back as change. So you might not know what we can take away from 80 to make 55. But if you do know your fact families, you know that we can rearrange these last two numbers. And that's another number sentence in this fact family. 80 minus 55 equals our missing cost. That is something we can do. Let's line it up vertically. We can say 80 minus 55. Let's go ahead and regroup. So we've got five. It looks like 25 cents, it's a quarter candy. Let's double check. So let's make sure this 25 works in all the rest of these. So we can say 90 minus 25, because that's our missing number right there. Does that make 65? Yes, it does. Let's look at 75 and 50. 75 minus 25. Yep, if you take three quarters and you get rid of one of those quarters, you're only going to have two quarters left. That's 50. And then finally, we've got our 30. Take away our missing number of 25. And that's going to equal 5. Yes, it is. So that's how we can find the missing number when you have a relationship that takes away from side to side. Let's look at a different example. Now we have two different types of items here. We have remote control cars and we have number of AA batteries. And you notice that they're on two different rows so that they go across. So if you have seven remote control cars, you're going to need 35 batteries. You're going to read it up and down. If you have two remote control cars, you only need 10 AA batteries. But if you need five remote control cars, that requires 25 AA batteries and so forth. So you notice once again, if you're trying to go just in one row, like the remote control cars, seven to two to five to six, there's no pattern there. You can't go, in this case, side to side. You're going to need to look up and down between the two different items, the remote control cars and the AA batteries. And we have a question here. What's the relationship between the RC cars, the remote control cars, and the batteries, because sometimes we have to be able to write this relationship out or speak it out. So let's look at what happens when we're going from 7 to 35. We've got two different options. We can either say 7 plus something is going to make 35, or you can say 7 times something is going to make 35. Either one of those is going to work. So let's try this first one. 7 plus what makes 35? Well, I know 35 minus 7 will equal that blank that's in that same fact family. So that's going to make 28. So do I think I can add 28 to each of these plus 28? No, that's not really going to work. Because if I add a 28, that's going to get 30. That's not going to get 10. Let's try multiplication. 7 times what makes 35? Well, I know my facts. And that's 5. So can I multiply by 5? 7 times 5 makes 35. 2 times 5 makes 10, yes. 5 times 5 makes 25. 6 times 5 is 30, and yes. 3 times 5 is 15. So if I were to write a sentence, I would say that each remote control car requires 5 AA batteries. 